Hey guys, this is part 2 of my Rhino tutorial uh, of like ribbon shape structure. So in this tutorial we will be achieving something like this. Like I said we would uh, try to get a different shape in the form of ribbon. So let's get started. Uh, so I did that on Windows but this uh, is on Mac because apparently my Windows wasn't wasn't I guess my Rhino was a bit older version and some commands weren't working in it. Uh, the main command that I actually needed to get uh, this grids and the points uh, which I'll be talking which I'll be showing you ahead. So for that then I had to again uh, move back to Mac because my Mac's like uh, a little latest version which is, was which is uh, supporting the command uh, so I moved back to Mac uh, and apparently my Mac Rhino my grasper isn't working so yeah I need to fix that up too anyways let's get started so uh, the command that we're going to be doing in this is point with surface domain number and uh, point panel grid custom which I have actually done this in my earlier video uh, uh, for a structure like Musa Samani uh, which um, is a hexagonal uh, paneling that I had done uh, and in today's video we will be doing is trying to get this shape panels all along this curvy structure which is fluid and curvy so let's get started so let's make our panel or the shape uh, it could be any shape or whichever you desire either four sides or five sides a star or a hexagon or whatever you want so let's get that first uh, and this is already rhino has it in build so all we need to just give in the number of sides that we want by just typing in the number so I do, I'm going for four like a star like shape uh, yeah now since we have a uh, shape ready all we need to do is get the surface that we have uh, we need to divide it into uh, points so we'll use point with surface domain number so what that does is it divides the surface uh, it gives like a grid like form grid like pattern uh, on the surface so what we could do is we could edit the number of points by uh, so we have a u and a v a direction by giving having the number so we'll just type in 150 or 100 in the v direction so this we get a grid and the point on the surface ready so once that is done all we need to do is take the panel that we had made and put it onto the surface so for that we would require the next command which is point panel grid custom so what it does is it takes this grid it which we had made earlier with the point grid surface domain number and the panel that we had made and it takes the panel and it takes that and puts it on the grid that the points that we had made and it goes moves all along the surface so if you want your grid to be more not squarish and more rectangular and more distant so you could just put in that number that you require and it will take that shape so next what we do is now since it's like a flat structure surface um, th this entire panel is always grouped in one group so I, I always do is I always copy an extra so that uh, you know whatever happens then you could use the uh, we have a spare copy so for copying you just can press uh, alt and the direction the gumball and gets copied uh, so uh, once we have copied that we can take our panels we can take a panel and then we can extrude the panel which is next command is extrude curve which is on both sides so that it extrudes on both the sides and the second is whether it should be done solid so we can 
you know it won't be a wireframe or lines it will be like a solid panel and once that is done you just press enter and just given the distance that you want to extrude it so I'll just write 10 so it probably goes like 10 mm 10 mm 20 mm thickness it gets uh, and it does take a little time to extrude uh, for me at least uh, so yeah and so once we're done with that uh, basically done with like 90% of it already so we could just give it the material to make it look a little bit funky a little bit cool so uh, you could use your glass material uh, now this is my material in Rhino Mac which is the interface is different than Windows interface so what happens in Mac's interface is you get a different tab itself within the Rhino so for editing my material I need to go on the material tab and then to go back again onto the surface I just have to go back to the the Rhino surface the drafting tab and I'm not going to uh, talk about rendering in this or uh, the video is only about making the form and making look a little giving it a little material to it And now in the material you could just edit it. So I'm just giving a little bit copper and a little bit glass effect to it to make it look a little funky. Uh, you can see you have to go back to my model. So there are two tabs. One is the rhino, the model tab, we and one is the material you put. <laughs> and well this is the output uh, so guys please do like subscribe and share for more videos thank you guys